The hard work of the spiders has paid off and they have caught a meal. Soon the energy of the insects will be transferred to the spiders. This would be one step of a food chain. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Food Chains. In ecology, a food chain is a diagram that illustrates organisms that eat one another so that energy and nutrients are transferred from one organism to the next. For example, take this food chain involving a hawk. Notice the hawk eats the snake, which eats the mice, which consumes the grasshopper, which consumes the producer. At each level, energy is being transferred from one organism to another. There are a couple key words that will help you understand a food chain. First is autotroph and heterotroph. An autotroph, which can also be called a producer, create their own food for energy. A producer may use photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Autotrophs are the foundation of every ecosystem of the planet. Check out these autotrophs. Most producers use sunlight to make food in a process called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, producers, remember, autotrophs are also called producers, make food from carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. However, some autotrophs are chemoautotrophs that use energy from chemicals to build organic compounds out of carbon dioxide and similar molecules. Some bacteria found at deep ocean vents use this process called chemosynthesis. A heterotroph, also called a consumer, eats other organisms for their energy. A consumer that eats only plants is called a herbivore. A carnivore, like a wolf, eats other animals. And an omnivore eats both plants and animals. You may also notice in the food chain decomposers. These are organisms that gain energy by breaking down the remains of other organisms. Examples include fungi and bacteria. Let's take a closer look at the food chain of a fox. At the base of the food chain lie the primary producers. The primary producers are autotrophs and are most often photosynthetic organisms such as grass. The organisms that eat the primary producers are called primary consumers. Primary consumers are usually herbivores or plant eaters. In this example, it is the grasshopper. The organisms that eat the primary consumers are called secondary consumers. In this example, the mouse eats the grasshopper. The organisms that eat the secondary consumers are called tertiary consumers. In this food web, it is the fox. Some food chains have additional levels, levels such as quaternary consumers, carnivores that eat tertiary consumers, and then there are organisms at the very top of a food chain called apex consumers. Notice that the arrows always point in the direction of where the energy is being transferred. The energy of the plants is transferred to the primary consumers. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.